What is up YouTube, welcome back to the channel where I bring all the real life tactics or any tactics in general into FIFA, both meta and real life coach systems. Um, today we're going to be going over the Aston Villa tactics, so they do line up with this formation right here. They line up in a 4 triple 2 uh, but to actually show you how this formation lines up in game I do have this coaching board uh, where I can kind of show you guys how to structure everything how everything works so um, the way it lines up they they line up in a 4-4-2 or 4-4-2 I'm gonna go over how uh, uh, basically a demonstration here and then I'll go over the tactics and instructions of who do you want to play where um, and I have some gameplay at the very end so the way they line up, they line up in a 4-4-2, so just or 4 triple 2 just like this. Uh, let's go over the defensive shape first. So they do defend in a 4-4, uh, two blocks of 4, two mid blocks of 4, or sometimes even low blocks of 4, uh, with the striker dropping down, almost like a, almost like a cam, acting like a cam at times. So you do end up defending in a 4-4-1-1 uh, with your lone striker running in behind at all times, which normally that's Ollie Watkins. Um, now, if you do, what I have realized is whenever they are getting outplayed by the opponent and they want to actually park the bus, they narrow their debt or their width and they end up defending like this, almost like a, like a 6 uh, three, one, if that makes sense. So they, they're literally all the defensive players are inside the box. So the two center backs and the two full backs are inside the box. Your right, your right mid and your left mid, uh, they drop deep into a back six. Then you have your two deep line playmakers right here, your two CDMs, your pivot players, and you have your other striker that drops deep, kind of like around this area right here. And Ollie Watkins is by him lonesome self, right? Now that is how you defend, that is how you ultra defend, and I'll show you how to change that later on if you need to. But whenever you get in the attacking shape, uh, this is where it gets a little fun. So you go back into the 4 triple 2, right? So they end up spreading out here. Um, so you have your two center backs here. You got these two pivot players that are right here, so deep line playmakers. Uh, so they end up playing just like, like this, because uh, they do have two cams that are very, very narrow. Uh, so they're left mid, right mids, but they act like cams, if that makes sense. So they're very, very narrow. Uh, so you have your two center backs here. You have this little triangle here, 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 and this triangle here, here, here. Um, if I can find this soccer ball. Oh, it doesn't even matter. I was going to show you guys a little soccer ball, but it doesn't even matter. So you have this little triangle right here. So you can pass the ball right here in between all these three players um after you if you can't get out of this side then you pass the ball to this side to this pivot player because usually with the deep line playmaker instruction he'll be opened up over here by himself um so you have these two pivot players here uh so oh, sorry you'll have these two defensive players here they'll be open by themselves this guy will transition over or vice versa this guy will transition over with the deep line playmaker instructions now that's cool and all whenever you're building up from the back because you have six players that building up from the back so it is very good to uh, get out of a press with this formation, right? But how do you add um, attack to all of this? Or I was going to try to take these off. Oh, I can't take them off. It doesn't matter. Okay, so uh, how do you build up on the attack? So once you get out of the press and you're building up, you'll realize that these two players act like act as cam so they're right here uh bailey ends up drifting wide and then you have your ollie watkins your striker that ends up getting in behind like this so he's like a lone striker so this guy adds the width on this side this guy becomes your cam here this guy becomes your cam here some more of inverted wingers uh kind of if you want to look at it like that and then you have your left back attacking the flanks at all times so he's going to be right here so he adds the width on the left side then you have your pivot players that ends up going up into the attack at one point and then you have your two center backs right here or your, your two center backs with your right back uh somewhere around right here so they you end up defending in a three this little box of four so like a three four three so you have this little box midfield right here uh which helps you out a lot with um controlling the game controlling possession uh switching the ball from either this side to this side anywhere like that and you always have this guy coming in behind all right so how does that actually play out in actual fifa terms so let me show you how it actually plays out so i got right here the four triple two um the players that you want to use are two 
Uh, well, I guess I'll go over the players afterwards. Tactics are here as follows. Balance, 35 width, depth, 57. Balance, 4 runs. 27 width players in the box. Uh, four, 5 corners and free kicks, 1 and 1. So with the balance, this is how you're going to be defending neutrally. Um, this is how you're going to start off the game. This is how you're going to finish off the game. Unless... The only way I would say finish it off uh, with the bringing the two cams even deeper to defend in the back six, you drop this to about 25 width to about 20. Uh, it'll make your left back and right back be very, very tight. And when they are very, very tight, I think I had this at 35. When they are very, very tight, they drop very, very deep uh, into the box and it allows your cams to drop even deeper on the wings uh, outside of the 18. Uh, deck keep it as is both old gen new gen it works for both tried and tested balance four runs that works on both on new gen you might want to do direct passing if four runs doesn't work for you but four runs is really good on old gen for this formation with 47 because you need those cams very tight very compact and players in the box five because you only have five players that are actually going into the box corners and free kicks one and one uh instructions Let's go over goalie. Comes for cross sweeper keeper. Uh, you got your two center backs stay back while attacking. Your right back stay back. That is it. Your left back because he's the overlapping one. Remember he's on balance overlap because he will be attacking. Uh, you got your two CDMs. They're both going to be on stay back while attacking. Cover center deep line playmaker. Deep line playmaker allows them to drift into the half spaces whenever you are trying to build up from the back. So it's easier to get out of a press. Easier to build up from the back. Uh, and basically start sending those through balls to your cams and your strikers, right? So both uh, like this. Right cam and left cam both come back on defense, get into box or cross on um, both of them. Don't change that. Striker is going to be drift wide, come back on defense. So drift wide, he'll drop, he'll drift on any side of the pitch. Most likely he'll drop, drift to the right side of the pitch because you do have your left back on overlap. Uh, but just keep that in mind. He will act like a literally like as a cam, like a number ten. He'll drop deep, pick up the ball, uh, and send your striker on through balls, which is normally Ollie Watkins. So he stays central, getting behind, stay forward. Right now, the players that you need uh, for this formation two very, very meta center backs, you know, get the best center backs you can get 87 pace and above, preferably. Uh, right back, you don't have to spend a lot of money on your right back, just somebody that gets a job done that's decent right there. Uh, left back, make sure he can dribble, he can attack, he can defend a well rounded left back, a Theo Hernandez, a Davies, uh, somebody like that. Sinchenko gets the job done sometimes, uh, somebody like that, and that nature. Uh, your two CDMs, make sure you have. Uh, at least a five-star weak foot on one of them, if not the other one, can be a skiller or four-star weak foot, somebody that can dribble, that are well-rounded, not just CDMs, but are that box-to-box, uh, high-high and one medium-high preferably, so I have a medium-high defensive work rate, which is Gwendouzi, and then Petit as a high-high, so he can join in on the attack a little bit more. Your cams, uh, make sure they're fast, pacey wingers. For me, Gabriel Martinelli gets the job done. Odegaard, I have him there for chemistry and for Travella shots because I like him cutting in from the left side for Travella shots. So if you're really good at Travella shots or you like Travella shots, uh, you can have one player that is literally the source of Travella shots in your team. Uh, you make sure your number 10 uh, is very, very good on the ball. So usually that's Leon Bailey for Aston Villa. So for me, that's Bukayo Saka. I have him as a five-star weak foot. He can dribble, he can pass, he can shoot, he can do whatever I need him to do. So he's probably the best player on the team. And then your striker should be your most lethal finisher in the team. Uh, it doesn't matter if he's clunky. Just as long as he can out-bully players, defenders, and can outpace them because he will be getting on a lot of through balls uh, in behind. So that is him right there, Peter Check. That is the guy for me. But yeah, those are the, the custom tactics and instructions for Aston Villa's uh, or Una Emery's Aston Villa 4 triple two. Uh, now we will get into the, some gameplay in about five seconds. Just give me one second. Football, football club. Oh. Nice. Got Puskas. Got Cantona. Got Socrates. Sedan. He has Cavara too. Well, Look at this guy. This guy wants to wants to join in on the gameplay. All right, exactly Thor. Come on. I'm Derek Ray on the Just stay right here with me, all right? And let's see. So we're going to play with this guy on my lap. Let's see how that goes. No, okay. Never mind. No, 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 no. Don't get there. Don't get there. Last time he did that, he literally turned off the whole recording system. The whole monitor. Nope. Stay over there, all right? 
All right, so I'll go ahead and switch to the four triple two. These guys are really good team, so we're just gonna play a little balance at the beginning. Uh, let's see if I can find some openings. Okay, that was not a good pass at all. Oh, for him neither. Alright, Guendouzi. There we go. Okay, this guy does a lot of all the skill moves. Now, who can he play it to? He's cool. Let's see. Well, you never quite know who's oh going to my God, that's what advance, we're playing up against. Somebody that does this all game long. What do you think we'll see from him today? Jesus. Yeah, he's a real handful, particularly when he's running with the ball, and of course, his finishing has been so clinical. That's why he's their leading goal scorer. All right, let's go check. And back now with Petr Cech. Nope. Never mind. All right. Osaka. Ah. All right. Let's see. Well, that could be the final warning. Damn. Well, he needs to be careful now. I overlapped the wrong side. I did. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Just run back. Clearly, the fan knows how to do all the skill moves. So. Uzi. There we go, Saka, for speed of crowd chat. No oh, there we go. That getting behind instruction. Uh, right at the last minute. This is all he's going to do all game long. Oh. People don't know how to play this game, I swear. Alright. Spiti. Bukayo Saka. There. Well, he wasn't messing around. I don't know why Czech didn't get there first. Thank you, Gwenduzi. Never mind. The fly boys using drop Gwenduzi. Drop, 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 drop. Thank you. And back now with Petr Cech. Which is a decent looking attack here. There we go. Easy tap and goal. Easy, easy, easy. All right. Defenders just not able to stay with him. And he's having a field day. Just run back with Winduzi. Just run back. There you go. That's how you got to make sure to get a good CDM. Emmanuel Petit. Petit. Overlap is Zinchenko. Ah, oh, that was supposed to be for Czech. I don't know why he sent it to Odegaard. And teammates around him. And credit the passing in this game sometimes is horrendous. Oosh. All right. Making Come on, progress. Martinelli. It needs an accurate cross. Just the challenge that was required. It's my ball. <clears throat> I'll go Saka. And a chance. Oh, oh. Oh, and the ball is that would have been game. And I think the threat has been averted. Thank you, Bellerin. And the referee is quite rightly letting it go. Red card. Give him that red ref. Give him that red. No red? Okay. Who has the best penalties? Emmy Martinez, of course. Oh, they did give him a red. Straight down the middle. Boom. And 3 0. Is he going to quit? I think that's game. If that's game. Wish I had more time, guys. I might record another one in a little bit. If I do. And then stick around if i don't make sure to hit that like hit that subscribe button uh to watch more of this content so i can show actual gameplay how to's all that good stuff catch you guys on the next one peace